Yesterday, we talked about the wonders that is the doorway event, and specifically the static version that can come out of it. And a lot of people were asking, hey Spec, what happens if you have one of the special worlds? Does it get duplicated as well, or will this turn into a standard world? Well, today we're going to find out. Let's start off things here with our very first event of the day, uh, which is of course the summit once again, and we're going to get, try to get uh, this here, Ocean Paradise Size 30 planet to us. Uh, once again, I would like to remind you the Ocean Paradise does have a happiness modifier of 15%, a pop growth speed of 10%, and a resource uh, bonus of 15, uh, 5%. So uh, if we can duplicate this one, that would be rather nice. And there's the event, and what do you know? We got the Elation, of course, and... We got ourselves another size 30 ocean world. Uh, also with the ocean paradise modifier, happiness of 15% and all the bells and whistles that come with that. And in addition to that, we got the save modifier, which gives us a stability of plus 100. But yeah, uh, we can dupe a ocean world that is size 30 with the doorway event and ocean paradise. This feels already a little bit broken. Let's move over towards the next one, the relic world start. Alrighty, the remnants start. Of course, an origin where we start as a relic world, size 22. Can turn it into an ecumenopolis if we want to, but maybe something else will happen. Who knows? We can get it, maybe, you know, another relic world in our capital system would be nice. So let's start the summit and see what happens. Let's bring the place to us yet again, and let's see if we can get a relic world duplication out of this one. And there it is, Elation once again, and a planet has been brought under our control. This time, however, we did not get a Relic World, we just got a standard Continental World, which does have the modifier of save down it. Ironically enough, unlike the last one, we do get a full set of buildings on it, plus 18 pops. We did get 18 pops the last time around, but then again, that was a size 30 world, and now we uh, only get a size 18 but it has all the buildings on it, which I think is rather interesting. Um, yeah, standard continental world, nothing special. We didn't get another relic world. So, yeah, let's take this one off. This is not a cool dupe. Let's try Void Dwellers, shall we? Void Dwellers, of course, spawn with a habitat world uh, in their control instead of spawning on the planet, which is still below them, but it has gone boom, boom. So, if we run it here, do we get a fresh planet that our people cannot really live on, or do we get ourselves a habitat? Let's trigger the summit and see where we end up. Elation, once again. This is once everybody lives... Yes, Rose, indeed it does. This time it has spawned, yet again, a habitat. No planet for us, but it also did not spawn a habitat world, which I think is interesting. Also, for some reason, on this habitat there are wild storms. It would appear that due to a variety of reasons, random events can be, or random modifiers can be attached to these places. I've had orbital habitats before in testing that spawned with uh, high mineral content and things like that. Of course, it's an alternate version of your reality, so I guess that makes sense. But still, we do not get a full habitat world like we get over here with our capital. No, in this particular case, a standard world with all these other standard uh, bells and whistles. Again, also coordinated fulfillment center. All the buildings are here. I just don't have the population to upkeep things. Still, 18 pops though is not half bad for a habitat right off the get-go, which is kind of nice. Let's move over towards next one. Let's take a look at the one that a lot of people have requested, the Ring World. Yes, the Shattered Ring Origin. Probably one of the more powerful ones within the game, except, you know, they got nerfed into the ground a couple times and now we only have standard districts instead of all the cool stuff. Regardless of, uh, across from us, we've got, of course, the Interloper, which is where uh, whatever is going to spawn once we get to the doorway. Let's uh, trigger the event, let's get the summit, let's bring the beta place to us. There is the event. What is going to spawn? Put your bets down below. If you think that this is going to be a planet, make sure you give a comment. And if you think that this is yet another Ringworld segment, put a like down below. Or vice versa. Either is cool. Elation once again, and it looks like we got ourselves a duplicate Shattered Ring segment. There it is, uh, just outside of the Interloper, of course. Uh, Yura Beta is, uh, of course, spawns right across the normal place. But 
what kind of area is this well this is definitely a shattered ring uh, area uh, a lot of these blockers are of course here uh, lithoid monoliths sprawling slums and all that stuff the real question is can we repair the shattered ring segment yes we can size 25 again one of the more powerful versions plus you could fill in your your ring world completely does it graphically look incredibly jank absolutely but what are you going to do huh you're gonna hang out with the interloper well i don't know you can have the doorway instead so what did you think did you think about a planet well you know what to do leave those comments down below if not you know get the video a like let's move on to whether or not our second planet will explode in cataclysmic explosions the doomsday origin blesses us with a special planet a special planet that is doomed to die when about 30 to 40 years it will explode and is of course part of the doomsday origin Apparently a challenging one. Well, let's challenge them with the summit and bring the opposite planet to us. With a bit of luck, it will also have uh, the Doomsday modifier on it. So let's see how the event rolls, and we will report back to you. Elation! We got ourselves yet another planet, and for some reason, this one has spawned with rings around it. Now is the real question. Will it have the Doomsday modifier on it? No, it does, but it does give us uh, atmospheric hallucinogenics, which is really cool because this means that this is yet another way out for the doomsday origin if you can find the static universe modifier with the doorway somehow then you can completely bypass the issue of you know having a, a home world that has exploded within your empire uh, of course the thing with the doorways is, is it can only spawn on worlds that are colonized and not your capital world so it's kind of a mixed bag in this particular case still getting a free planet is again nice you get all the buildings in this particular case as well as enough pops to deal with and again uh, a random planetary trait for some reason let's move on what else can we dupe how about a size 30 gaia world that you get with the life seeded origin i do not see any reason why this would not work it worked with the ocean paradise origin if this does not work i will eat my hat let's bring the planet to us let's see what will happen and let's see if we can get the beta versions of ourselves over to this universe holy double gaia worlds batman yes the beta planet has spawned in it is once again a size 30 but for some reason it did not spawn with all the buildings that we have on our capital world i'm not entirely sure why this happened there doesn't seem to be a good reason for it but irregardless of we now have yet again a size 30 gaia world in our capital system just because we got the static universe plus um, gaia seeded planets so that is pretty insane if you can roll this early enough this is 60 planet capacity in your capital system right away that's crazy good that's crazy good plus we still got all these mod uh, all these modifiers here and look at just it's crazy it's just so good getting all of these special resources in addition i'm sure we can duplicate something else what about machine worlds yes a machine capital something we get with the resource consolidation origin what do we get well we get a couple of cool things including the uh consolidated resources which gives us plus 25 minerals right off the get-go which is not half bad but can we duplicate one of these bad boys yet again let's take a look and see if we can bring the place for to us and there you have it yet again another world spawns but this time it's a tomb world that is rather curious considering we originally spawned with a machine world and whether or not it was a tomb world originally is a separate question let me quickly check my yeah that's even then we still got the oh this is broken trade robot not of this world yeah it looks like qa needs to take another pass at this because uh trade robot not of this world seems to be a little bit on the broken side still getting a tomb world in this particular case is rather curious let's take a quick look at our planetary summary we got all the buildings we got all the things we got all the robot pops 18 of them looks pretty good to me but still it's not a machine world which is of course unfortunate can we at least try to terraform it no because we don't have ecological adaptation which is also a shame but we still got the man uh, malfunctioning replicator bay which is interesting 
Any other strange features? No, no, not at all. Strange. Cool though. But strange. For the next test, we're going to try some stuff with mods, specifically Gigastructural Engineering. This, of course, is the Elysium Control Origin. If you're not familiar with the uh, film Elysium, go and we'll look at it. It's uh, it's pretty fun. But regardless, we spawn with this structure around us, and uh, I'll need to do a playthrough about, the, about this in the near future. Anyway, let's start the summit, and let's see what we end up with. Let's see how this particular event interacts with this particular mod and how things are gonna get broken super quickly. Elation once again. Is Elysium in this particular case or Elation? Who knows? But uh, let's see what we got on our hands. Just a standard continental world. It looks like this uh, particular event does not break this mod, which is unfortunate because who does not love some good old breakage? We do not have orbital oversight in this particular case and people do not like that at all, which means we need to build an orbital Elysium here as soon as possible, but at least we are saved. But as I mentioned, no joy when it comes to any sort of bugginess. That means that we have only one more test to go and that is to see whether or not uh, if we change our capital to a different world, it will still it will duplicate that world instead of our original home planet. Alrighty, we have ourselves a capital. It's Sildoria. Let's change our capital to something else, something a little bit spicier, something that is not a size twenty world. Uh, let's, let's get something bigger, like this size twenty five worlds instead, and let's move our capital over here let's do that there we go the capital has been moved and let's start the event chain let's bring it to us and let's see what will wow, happen we really hit this and elation there it is let's see if it duplicates our capital or our home world i don't see anything here i do not see anything over here it looks like it uh, duplicated our capital. That is actually a bit of a surprise. I did not expect them to um, actually take, keep track of this. The home world gets duplicated instead of the capital, which I think is interesting. Uh, in this particular case, we get all of this stuff with it. This was pretty, pretty late into the game. But still, you know, having a, a second planet in your capital is always nice. But you cannot trick this by trying to move your capital around and try to get a better result from the event chain. It does look like that you will have to get a copy of your capital every single time. And with that, we're just going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Do you feel that you now have the information that you need it? Do you feel that this is something that you need to comment on? Make sure that you do it below because I'm really curious. Is there anything else that I need to test for you so that you don't have to do it? Feel free, again, to leave a comment below. But in the meantime, we're gonna go log off here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons for making this video possible. If you wanna become part of the Patreon, the link is on your screen right now, as well as the next video that we're going to be doing also on your screen now. Feel free to click that. Give me, give, phrase the algorithm, get the click-throughs. That's why we're here. See you next time. Maybe we'll take a look at that orbital uh, Elysium stuff that uh, Elowini has been working on. Maybe some some other things. Who knows? Anyway, until next time, take good care of yourselves and as always, each other.